Hey y'all, so Southern Woods here. So me, my dad, my brother, uh, maybe my cousin later on are going to a place called Hickey Yap in Georgia. It's in the Cahutas Wilderness. Um, I decided I'll make a little video, at least shoot some nature shots while I'm over there. So this is the start of it. And hopefully it'll turn to a decent little video. See y'all then. Dollar General on our way to Hickey Gap. Yeah, it's going on your YouTube yeah. yeah, it is. Got some cheap ass goggles, so gonna get some food and stuff for the trip. Made it to the campsite. This is it. Um, if you ever go over here, you do have a little bit of neighbors. There's one to our right too, but there's only like six or seven campsites, so it's not a ton of people. This is a uh, Mill Creek, the trout stream, but uh, down that way is the uh, hiking path to actually get to Hickey Gap and the falls. So. I think we're gonna unpack a little bit, get our fishing stuff ready, and try a little evening trout fishing. All right, y'all, we're finally at the Hickey Gap waterfall. It's a decent sized waterfall, a deep swimming hole, further down the mountain. Um, the trail's about a mile to get down here. It's pretty steep at some parts, but there's climbing ropes. The waterfall's about, eh, Six stories, maybe 60, 70 feet. Yeah, really excited to be here. Got the rope queen, too. Our first fish of the day. Yeah. Little grub, little chub. There he is. All right, y'all. I caught my first fish. It's this creek chub. Oh, buddy. He's small, but. That's cool. First fish at Hickey Gap. Yeah. Good frog right here. Ready? What's up, Kermy? You're dope. Hey, y'all. So, this is the outro for the day. Um, ended the fishing part of the day with about 18 fish, although they were all creek chubs. Um, 
I don't know why I can't have like a flashlight on the front camera. So if I'm looking like this, because the back camera is very bright. Um, so yeah, tomorrow we're going to give it another shot. Um, most of the day, go swimming, look for stuff on the bottom of the, the waterfall. Um, it's almost 1230, going to hit the hay soon, but right now we're using uh, the magnet, the strong magnet, doing it across the campground, finding like, you know, a bunch of nails and stuff. So we're probably saving future campers from pop tires and whatnot. Um, and yeah, I'll check back again with y'all in the morning. Look how beautiful this waterfall is. I like the almost halo looking emblem right there. I want to kind of go in there. There's Anthony fishing. Hell yeah. So on the trail, get to this log and the, there's like a Sasquatch or something sticker on there. Does that mean they're squatching these woods? I don't know. But uh, I don't know. I could have sworn I've seen that sticker before in a different forest. I don't know if that's a thing or if that's someone's thing to stick Sasquatch stickers on trees, but I don't know. It's kind of interesting, so I whipped out the camera. To give you an idea, this is a tamer part of the trail, but as you can see, a lot of roots. Um, just if you miss your step, you may twist, sprain, snap an ankle sort of thing but this is one of the tamer parts of the trails but it definitely gets worse in some parts Anthony's over here catching chub still yeah, nice waterfall right here The big waterfalls down there. So, pretty cool area, I will say. We're back at the waterfall. And yesterday I forgot to mention the hornet's nest up there on the swinging tree. So if we go in the water using the rope swing, gotta be careful because I don't feel like getting stung the fuck up out here. But man, just a beautiful waterfall and swimming hole. There's Anthony. Heck yeah.
Huh? <sighs> I can't see a thing with this thing on my face. <laughs> oh, this is such a bad idea. No. Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here again. Um, this is still day two. We ended up leaving the Stamp Creek campsite and now we are at, um, I forget the lake, Lake Kos Kosaga or some, something like that. Um, we got a campground, so pretty much by the lake. Hopefully it turns out well. I'll keep you updated. Hey y'all, just an update again. Um, like I said, we are at the lake, Lake K Kosaga or something. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I, again, I don't really remember. Um, we're at a pretty uh, secluded campsite. Um, no one's on this loop of the lake. Um, everyone else is more where the lake is but there's a little trail that goes down to it and then the creek's also below in a ravine um that's what dad and anthony are doing now they're checking out to see if there's any good um pools in the creek and how easy it is to get to the creek from here um i do like this spot 
Uh, I'm gonna go down and fish at the lake in a little bit. Day two, still. Um, we're gonna camp out here at least for the night. Uh, the weather looks like it may rain, so hopefully that doesn't happen because I just set up my hammock. I uh, hope y'all enjoy whatever comes next. See y'all in a little bit. We're at the uh, lake now, doing a little bank fishing. Uh, so far, no luck, but sort of what the lake looks like. It's not a super big lake, only 19 acres. So you could probably walk around the whole thing and not too long if you want to. Um, and then behind us is the creek, but it's very uh, vegetative back there and hard to get to. So we're gonna try our luck fishing on the lake this evening. Uh, but it's been about 15 minutes and no bite so far. You gotta be careful. I'm pretty sure that's a water moccasin. Just chilling on a log. You didn't know any better. You may even miss him. If you fell in the water. That could be bad. I'm just saying random things now, but it's a snake. Back in our day, we didn't have football. We had a water bottle full of gravel. And Anthony's terrible at the sport. Soup on the fire after a long day of not catching anything at the lake. Day two starting to wrap up. Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods. This is the morning of day three. It's almost 10 30 in the morning. Um, sorry I didn't shoot an outro last night. It was maybe like eight, a little bit past eight. Looked like it was about to rain. I was tired as hell. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to bed. So that's what I did. I mean, I like I passed out instantly. I did wake up. Um, probably around 1030 or something. Because my brother woke me up. But I still didn't feel like shooting an outro. Because my phone was in the car. And I was in the hammock trying to sleep. But man... From like 8 till 10. Minus probably an hour I was awake because I got woken up. I was like 14-15 hours of sleep. I don't think I've ever gotten that much sleep camping. Meanwhile everyone else. Mainly my dad. Was up like all night because. Well there's bears around here. And I kept on hearing bears. But you know. The only bear I heard was my dad snoring at one point. So, But yeah. It's day 3. I'm just trying to wake up. Really need to take a crap. The bathrooms are right there. I may risk that. Um, and yeah, I don't exactly know what the plan is today. I think we're going to actually drive down to Stamp Creek car by Cartersville. I know I've made a, uh, a video or two there before. So we're going to at least go down there for probably the rest of the day and try to fish. There's a good possibility that we'll camp there for our final night. I don't know, though. But anyways, uh, we'll see how today ends up. And of course, I'll bring y'all with me. So, let's go. Alright, we've been here. I've been here about 45 minutes. Uh, no luck for me. Uh, just bait being stolen. Anthony caught a uh, little brim earlier on this stick. <laughs> um... And yeah, it's just kind of overcast, overcast, kind of gloomy. Got guys over there just uh, pulled their boat out of the water. But um, yeah, nothing too much going on here. So hopefully more exciting things will uh, happen later on. Well, the car ain't starting. What you think about that, Anthony? That ain't good. That ain't good, yep. Yeah. Will we make it? Will we make it out of life? Car started, good to go. All right, y'all, we're at Stamp Creek now. Y'all may remember from a couple other of my videos, 
Uh, we're gonna, it's pretty crowded over here, so we're in some not as decent spots, but we're gonna try to catch at least another trout. So, well, y'all see how it goes. Right. Anthony's caught his uh, second trout of the day at Stamp Creek. It's, uh, it's about eight inches. Yeah, I think it's a keeper. It's time for me to catch one. Anthony caught a third one. There you go. Nice. All right, y'all. My first trout of the season. Heck, yeah, she's a beauty. It's raining decently hard out here in Stamp Creek. Um, so far, yeah, Anthony has two. I have one. Uh, we'll see if we get any more. But it's sort of coming down now. All right, y'all. So our adventure in the Cahuta's Wilderness. Look at my hair. It's all crazy. Just like our adventure has come to an end. Um, as you saw, we started out at Hickey Gap Campground. And then we went to Lake Kawasaga or whatever the hell it's pronounced. Um, Kawasuga, Kawasaga. Um, also found out that that lake is the uh, highest elevation lake in Georgia. That was pretty cool. We did see the clouds like pretty much engulf the trees right there at the lake so makes sense um and then we ended it uh at stamp creek uh where i've showed you all before but now we're home it's come to an end uh we caught a total of uh five trout all together four of them were at stamp creek so not as good as uh my father probably would have hoped but you know i had fun it was a good adventure um and i'm glad uh y'all are with me through it i hope the uh, gopro footage of the waterfall turned out good i guess uh y'all already uh found out by now um and yeah so if you're in georgia and you're looking for an adventure or some crazy place to go uh definitely check out uh or anywhere in the Cahutas is just awesome a lot of big uh hills and steep drop offs but definitely go check out hickey gap at least for a day um you know they do stock the stream of trout, so hopefully you all have better luck than we did out there, but the waterfall is definitely cool to look at. Um, and yeah, just be careful on the trails. You could definitely snap your ankle in a heartbeat on them roots, um, but it ain't too bad. And then I definitely check out uh, one of the lakes that are up there too, either Lake Kawasaga or whatever, or uh, Murray's Lake. Um, fishing wasn't too impressive there either, but it's a cool little place to check out maybe camp for a couple nights and uh yeah i'm just glad y'all uh were here with me and it was a good little adventure you have anything to say anthony you have fun yeah you have fun <laughs> all right it sound convincing, but... yeah we, we had fun it was all right weather wasn't too bad until uh the end of the trip so heck yeah glad you could join me southern woods out